I'm Emily Kirby and I am from the UK. I was born in Zambia but grew up mostly in Sussex in the south. I'm a figurative painter, um, often using wildlife and people as subject matter. I'd say, like many artists, financial obstacles are a big thing when you're setting out as, a, as an artist. Initially, it takes a lot to, to survive and get your work out there. Meanwhile, making a living and paying for a studio and materials. So I would say that's initially that was the, the first obstacle I had to overcome. I guess a, a certain confidence in my work um, and a lot of hard work. Uh, I don't know if that sets me apart, but I feel like they were the, the factors that made me really able to, to show my work to certain audiences without being scared of what people would perceive initially. So I've been a painter full-time for 10 years now. I was born into a family of artists, so their influence has obviously given me that confidence to pursue it full-time. My very first commission would have been from a family friend who was an artist. She asked me, commissioned me to paint her son, a large portrait of her son. And um, yeah, I think that was really an important turning point for me, getting that confidence. Um, and from another artist, that meant a lot. So once I had sold um, a painting to a doctor who's neighbour came over for, for dinner one evening and later approached me, the neighbour, um, to ask me to come to Tanzania and get to know a whole community in a village where he had established an NGO. And I basically got to go to this village for two weeks and with an interpreter talk to everybody about their experiences and their culture and then create a whole collection of work after which we had an exhibition in London and half the proceeds went back to the schools and the um, community projects that they set up there. But yeah, the, the experience was just incredible. It was in a very rural part of, of Tanzania and um, yeah, just uh, thoroughly loved that as a commission. Um, it, can, it could probably be anything from between a few hours to a few months. So I, ideally I like to work fast and keep it um, very raw. However, some pieces you have to go on a long journey with and they're some of the pieces I've been most proud of as well. So yeah, it very much depends. The biggest influences on my work the artists that have inspired me the most, um, like the big names like um, Maggie Hamling, Marlene Dumas, um, Peter Doig. Yeah, these are, these are some of the, the main ones, but also, you know, some of my peers and my stepmother, who's from Czech Republic, she was a big inspiration. She was, a, yeah, bringing up my younger sister as a single mum and um, surviving as an artist and I think she's, she's been a huge inspiration to me. I have to say oil paints, um, it's so diverse and so rich. Um, there are times when I feel like I've, I've you know, explored it as far as I can and then just bringing in, you know, uh, different ways of uh, mark making it, yeah, I'm constantly discovering. I think it's like, yeah, the most diverse of the painting mediums. I'd say try and 
find a community of artists uh, that can that can help you uh, talk about your work, show your work with, can give you um, feedback and introduce you to others. I think, uh, yeah, your network of artists can be, yeah, a really, really important part of, um, yeah, achieving and um, showing your work through. I've thought about this a lot and I feel like creativity is, well, it's a form of communication, but it's also uh, an excuse of looking at the world in a certain way and in depth and um, sort of investigating what means to what important things to you and how to um, yeah interpret it and find out more about yourself through how you end up kind of processing that through your work. Um, I feel like it's exciting it gives me a grounding it gives me something to um, to constantly push myself and and try new ways of um, realizing ideas. It's a constant source of inspiration in itself. Um, I look for for inspiration to inform the art, but the artwork in its its own sense actually can can really um, provide you with something pinnacle in your life. Oh gosh, uh, maybe. Stealing Beauty, it's the dream. Yeah, I'd say Stealing Beauty. I have my website, which usually kind of has all of my most recent works, but I'd say if you want to look kind of into my studio and also sort of further back through my portfolio, Instagram, which is Emily Kirby underscore art.